Hello, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a simple alert. I will also do the other alerts in other videos. I don't want to make this video too long, so I'm going to do one at a time. So the first one is the simple alert. Um, again, my setup, I am not going to show you how I did it, but basically I have a label, I have a text field, and I have four buttons for my different alerts to show you. I've already created an outlet for my label as well as for my text field. I've brought in UI text field delegate so that we can get output and input from the uh, text field. I've um, made it a delegate of itself. So if you haven't, if you need some time to set this up, definitely pause this video and then come right back. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is actually bring in an action for my simple alert. And I'm just going to use an action verb show simple alert. Now you don't necessarily have to create a button to have an alert to show up. You can just um, when you are ready to use it and you want to ensure that's you know correct or whatever, you just delete the I, I B action as well as the parameters here, and it will work um, wherever you call this method. All right, so the first thing we need to do is we need to create a variable to hold a instance of the UI alert controller. So I'm just gonna name this alert controller, just really simple here. And it's going to be a UI alert controller, which is an object that displays an alert message to the user. It's gonna be optional just in case it fails. Um, then the next thing we need to do is we need to um, do the setup. In this case, we need to provide a title and a message and a style. So let's go ahead and do alert controller and have that equal to UI alert controller. Let's do parentheses and then we get um, various different uh, class methods. The one I want is title string, message string, preferred style, which is UI controller style. All right, so title, um, I'm gonna do something simple here, but basically you wanna make it a warning or just FYI, you can put whatever there, but I'm just gonna do hi there, just to give you an example and have it say, I'm a simple alert. Preferred style, if you hit the um, period, we have the different types of styles, which is action sheet and alert. I will show you action sheet later. Um, so I'm just going to choose just a regular, which is displayed mod, <laughs> modally. I'm probably butchering that word for the app. <laughs> All right. And then uh, the next thing we need to do is we need to create an action because we need to dismiss this view. So I'm going to create a constant and have it be confirm action. And it's going to be of type UI action, which is an action that can be taken by the user uh, when the user taps a button in an alert. If we do the parentheses, we get only one handler, and this is basically to provide information about the button. Um, in this case, we need to do a title. I'm going to do OK. You can do other things too. Um, alert style. Uh, we can do cancel, which indicates canceling an action and leaves things unchanged if you did any changes. We're not doing any changes, it's just an FYI simple alert. There's default, which is I am going to use, and then there's destructive. Destruction, destructive means that we're making a change to the data or deleting something. So just choose uh, delete. Handler, there's no handler, uh, but if it was something destructive or anything like that, then we would need to provide um, information of how the alert is going to respond. So we need to provide it some actions it needs to do. In this case, there's none. It's just going to dismiss the alert. So we just do nil. And now what we need to do is we need to ensure that um, all this information is given to our alert controller. So we're going to do alert controller, unwrap it, and we're going to do add action. So we need to add the action to it. So this is confirm action, which is what we did above. And the next thing we need to do is we need to also we need to present the view controller on top of the main view. So we're going to do self dot present the view controller to present an animated bull completion. 
So you, the view controller to present is our alert controller. Animated, yes, we do want it animated. Completion, there is nothing. But if we did have something, which I will show you in the action text field and the uh, view controller alert, the custom one, we'll show you that there's different things we can definitely do at the end. But in this case, there's nothing. So we just do nil. Okay, I'm gonna save that. Make sure we don't have any errors. Oh, then we do have one error. What I forgot to do was I forgot to unwrap it. So definitely do a exclamation point there. All right, so I'm gonna save it and build and run. Alerts here, let's go ahead and click on Simple Alert. And there we go, we have the title and the description and OK button. So let's go ahead and hit OK and it dismisses it just like we thought. All right, in my next video, I'll show you how to create an action alert so that we will um, get used to handling handlers. <laughs> all right, friends, if this video has helped you at all, you know, definitely give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to receive notifications of when I upload new videos. And if you want to support my work, since I will not put ads on my videos, definitely become a patron over at patreon.com. All right, friends, till next time. Keep calm and code on.